Welcome to Rare Submissions and Cool Transitions number five. I'm Dan the Wolfman. I'm taking on Japan, Puerto Rico, and AKA Thailand in this video. I'm going with Pancrase Legend K. I'm Amiya there, getting a short double off the cage. And here's a very cool pass you've probably never ever seen before. In Butterfly Guard, that is a modification to the Mario Sperry old school MMA guard pass to adapt to the Butterfly Guard. There's a Nikio variation, or Ayadori, I think it's also called, against a pro fighter, oh, a face Kido. fighter. What's, what's wrong with the Kido? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Was a Kurgaish here, Kurgaish. Showing him from my little teapot sideways. I could have set him up there for the Connie Bisami leg scissors there. Other Kurgaishi. Goes on Pancreas Fighter Kaz. Back to this other Pancreas Fighter here. Just interesting leg control there. In transition, knee shield or Z guard. Space, get up to base. Look how I jump back and made space. People are doing it wrong nowadays, teaching it wrong. Black belts teach it wrong. Gotta make that space. I'm gonna get up. You gotta kick off that front leg and J hook around. Taking the back, putting in a lockdown on the leg. I thought that was interesting. Really cool transition here. Coming up. Calves. Calves. From Mount, look at my Ultimate Mount video. Ultimate Mount, enter the system compilation. I teach a whole hour seminar with tons of submissions. From Mount, try to get the reverse told. But now I'm, he's, you know, I'm still funking out using that toe, the top of the toe hold, the actual toe hold as control. Trying to get me a Kimura, but I still got his legs. I'm looking like, hey, maybe a hammerlock. I don't know. Starting to take the back, but not really. He's coming up on top. Uh-oh. So it's a long, pretty cool transition of scrambling. Still get some control with the legs, as you see here. And bam, I slip in a guillotine. And I'm stretched and probably some kind of lockdown or reverse lockdown there on the legs. Okay, I'm Mia coming with some plum clinch knees, countered with the shoulder shrug to Kodagashi, but he counters my arm bar attempt with the knee bar attempt. Juju Katami to his eye. Katami. Oh, a rope escape. That evil key, I'm a Mia. Tough guy. Switching the color and elbow. Duck under. To the schoolboy leg lock from the back. We've seen Shogun Hua and others go for that. And Parleros did an early Brazilian fight. He did that corkscrew steering wheel style toe hold. Kind of more like a heel hook, actually. Rolling them through on that headlock takedown, as I've done in my Kuda World Championships fight. Got a stockade neck crank there, making him grab the rope escapes. Guys, that was actually a worked match. I choreographed. That was my second pro wrestling match. First game of Back to reality here in Puerto Rico. This is a weird uh, ten-finger guillotine I do with his arm in. This is that Sarah BJJ in Puerto Rico. You know, I always kind of got along with the uh, Henzo guys, Sarah lineage, Sarah lineage guys, Silver Fox. Talked to like get that guy on Facebook once. Love the way that Silver Fox dude teaches. Very good biomechanics. There was a suck it choke. I think I've only met, met Sarah once back at like UFC 43. Met some of his guys at a bar once. Uh, I hope they're down with me. 
They down with the Wolfman, said BJJ, Matt Sarah, you down with would he, would he get a beer with the Wolfman and a slice of pie? That's what I'm that's what I'm asking. Um time was running out there, so I jumped to the uh, two on two Russian cowboy style. Shout out to Vlad Kulikov. Saw a star sweep effective there. Should be used in MMA, man. Going to hold. That star sweep has been used successfully so many times by a former coach of mine, uh, Zanji Rivero. I trained with Solo and sometimes with Zanji for a year. And Zanji's used it successfully so many times. Why are no one using it in MMA? Ten seconds. Can I pull it off? Again, guys, I use that that double grapevine guard to go into the calf slicer. Or this is more toehold, but I still am using my leg as a bar there. So a toe pull, toe hold. But still using the leg as a bar. You've seen that in earlier videos multiple times. Some gi jujitsu sweeps. The sleeves of my gi had gotten ripped, but hey, it's what I had as I traveled the world, guys. Plus, it looks cool when you come out in a pro wrestling match with it on. I never go with anyone big, right? Except for this giant Iranian wrestler, wrestler who is the uh, training partner of world champion Amir Ali Akbari. So, AKA Thailand, obviously, as you see. And there's the man himself, Amir. Never have I had size, strength be a problem. Never have I even really considered it. A body is a body. I don't care if you're small or big. That's the proper way to approach grappling. Fighting in martial arts. The only time I ever it was a factor was with him because he's a very technical wrestler and um, crazy strong. Crazy strong. Here I'm going with a, a Russian guy I really like training with. You see a stack choke here, gonna be done really well. Gi or no gi? I have a, a video teaching it the gi directly off of Uchigari, directly into it. This is a special Gokar Shavichian. Goker, older guy, can move slow as a turtle and tap out great guys. I hope I get there as I age. Uh, cool transition, uh, bicep slicer, arm scissors here, really arm scissors. You know, going to catch a catch Ken wrestling. Saw it tons in old pro wrestling matches. See a triangle foreground, they fall out of frame as I get the arm scissors here from bottom. My arm through, uh, the elbow there. You gotta learn how to adjust your legs there and then triangle the shoulder, get even more pressure. How many people have ever seen this? Standing knee bar. Standing reverse knee bar. I just did to him. Um, Setting up the hip lock here becomes a stretch spine twist thingy. A little double off the wall there. An MMA sparring here. I'm going with Mike Quickswick, UFC fighter. Head of AKA Thailand. A very good butterfly guard. Very good butterfly guard. Um, in fact, he had swept me in uh, some, other, some other times. which made me kind of analyze it. And then I think I'm better at defending that uh, sweep now because of it, how to float my hips over instead of holding back for control. Or maybe I'm doing better here doing just that after it uh, previously swept me, perhaps. He's got very good, look, look at the control he's got. He's low on me, which is a threat. So I got to have that wizard, the one going to the back. He's got a very good tight gable grip kind of right there below my ribs. Floating rib, possibly. But MMA style, both MMA guys. Guard is used for getting back to your feet when you can. I think something you just talked about before the MMA sparring the previous day. Um, I believe this is Islam, who just co-headlined UFC last weekend. I'm pretty sure this is. Is it Islam Makachev? Sorry if I'm screwing that up. All those Dagestani names and Tajikistan names sound the same to me. Kazakhstan and Anistan names kind of sound the same to me. But he just co-headlined and uh, 
when you uh, in the UFC. I think his re record's pretty ridiculous too. Um, I think this kid's from Tajikistan. Actually, I'm going with now. Maybe uh, the electric chair stretch. I'm on the right there. In black, using red. Ghost escaping out. Underhook. Near side underhook escape. Uh, Kodagishi forgot to put in my other Aki grappling type videos. Kodagishi, I'm sugar footing over the head. That could lead to a head scissors. Got the wrist bone into his elbow notch there. Could maybe become a bicep slicer, arm scissors, some kind here. I'm doing leg hook guard with the head in there. switching off like, oh no he wouldn't let me have it so I go to leg hook guard on the other side so that's why I included this and so I had a transition side to side oh double leg over what does that mean probably in the plata or some kind of double wrist lock variation Maybe counters, I counter, roll back to guard. I just thought it was a cool transition, so included it there. I wonder if this Russian guy's still training at AKA Thailand or in Thailand. He's fighting MMA. He was a decent kickboxer. There's a reverse to hold. So I, I wanted to show him things and open his eyes to help him with his grappling. Oh, I know what I'm going to do here. Sub you almost never see. Could really dislocate somebody. Knee slide mount here. And instead of the telephone lock, shoot us down. I'm going to go for the Gene LaBelle separator. Break his collarbone. Pull the shoulder out of the socket, kid. Love you, Gene LaBelle. And, uh... Um, Guys, if you don't know, this is this is when I'm like really brown about all of these highlights. All pre black belt footage. Of course now I'm a black belt and heist on grappling system. Under Gene the Bone Gold Christian Vichy in a mixture of those reverse knee bar, judo this is sparring Islam there. Um Heist on Grappling System mixture of Judo Jiu Jitsu Sambo catch wrestling. Probably the most open-minded grappling system in the world that I think is offensive and very good for MMA, very good for street self-defense as far as the total grappling style. Highest on's where it's at, people. Or, you know, catch it to style, hopefully. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.